In our last video on SQL interview question, you guys showed some amazing support. It hit 600k views and the comments were filled with lot of love and requests for a dedicated video on SQL joins and queries. And you're absolutely right. I didn't cover that part in detail back then. Now, let's be honest, no SQL interview is complete without joins. It's that one topic that always shows up. And if you understand it well, you're already ahead of many candidates. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything about joins, what they are, the type of joins, how to use them in queries and I will explain everything with simple example and easy animation to make it super clear. Before we jump into joins, let's quickly understand what SQL actually is just to set the base right. No matter you are a working professional or a student, you must be playing with data on a daily basis. Data is at core of every application and SQL structured query language helps us manage and interact with that data. Whether you're dealing with simple app that store user profile or working in a company analyzing millions of sales and record. SQL is the tool that helps you fetch, update and organize that information inside a database, especially relational database which store data in form of tables. Now, if you have SQL even a little bit, you probably know how to write basic queries like selecting data from a table, filtering it using where or sorting it with order by. But here's the thing most big miss. Real world data is rarely stored in just one table. Now, let us understand this with a simple example. Imagine you're building an e-commerce website. You might have a customer table that stores customer detail like name, email, email city and orders table that store details about what they bought like product name, order date and amount. Now one day if your manager asks you, hey can you show me all the names and cities of customer who have placed an order in last 7 days along with what they ordered. Now you realize this information is scattered in two places. The customer table has the customer name and city. The orders table has what they ordered and when. But neither table alone has the full picture. The orders table doesn't have names and the customer table doesn't show what they bought or when. So how do we connect this data to get a meaningful answer? That's where SQL joins comes in. Join act like a bridge between two or more tables, allowing you to fetch related data based on common column like customer ID in this case. With a join, you can join customer details with their order record in one clean result. What you're basically doing here is joining two tables together with a query to produce neat and clean result. This is something basic queries can't do. Without joins, you would be stuck writing multiple queries and trying to combine data manually, which is messy, inefficient, and not something you would want to do in an interview. In this video, we are going to discuss six types of join, inner join, left join, right join, full outer join, self join, natural join. Up next, we will dive into SQL join queries frequently asked during technical interviews. So imagine a school with two lists or two tables. The first list is student list. It shows everything, student's roll number, their name and their age. For example, Ravi is roll number 101, Sita is 102 and Aman is 103. Then there's a second list called the student course list. This one tells us about course each student is taking, but it has only roll numbers and course IDs. For example, roll number 101 is taking course C101. 102 is in C102 and 104 is in C103. Now, the principal wants to find out which students are enrolled in which courses. But there's a problem. The student course list doesn't tell us their names and ages, just roll numbers and courses. And the student list doesn't tell us what course the students are taking. So, how do we get the full story? We match the two lists using the roll number because that's the common piece of information in both. By connecting the roll number from student list to those in student course list, we can see the student name, age and the course they are enrolled in all in one place. This matching of the roll number is exactly how the inner join works. It brings together only the students who appear in both the lists showing us the complete picture. So our query will go like select student course dot course ID. So first we are telling SQL exactly what we want to see in the final result. We want the course ID which is in the student course table student dot name student dot age and we also want name and age which are there in student table so we are pulling column from student in our join on student course this line means now join it with student course table on student dot roll number equals to student course dot roll number this line is the glue the condition that connects both the table. We are saying only give us the rows where the roll number in student table matches the roll number in student course table. In simple term, if the student exists in both the table, we include them in the final result. The overall query says bring me the course ID from student course table and the name and age from student table, but only when the roll number matches in both the table. And this is the output which you can see on the screen right now. 
and this is what we get. Ravi is enrolled in course C101, Sita is enrolled in course C102. In the output table, you would have noticed that Aman didn't show up because he is not in the course table and a student with roll number 104 didn't show up either because they are not in the student table. It gives you result only when there is a match on both sides. Now moving ahead with left join. So what is a left join? Let's say you run a small electronic shop, you keep two types of record. First, a list of all customer or whether they have bought something or not. Second, a record of every order that has been placed. Now here is the situation. You want to send a thank you message to your customer but you also want to see what each one has ordered if anything. Here is the catch. Rinki is a new customer. She hasn't bought anything yet but you still want her to be part of the report just to know she exists in your customer base. This is where left join comes in. A left join is important when you want to retrieve all rows from one table which is called your left table regardless of whether there is a match row in other table which is the right table. Now suppose we have a customer table as left table which contains customer ID and name and orders table as a right table which contains order ID, customer ID and product. So what our left join query will say, select customers.customer ID, customers.name, orders.product from customers, left join on customers.customer ID equals to orders.customer ID. So what this query is saying, it's basically saying us to select customers.customer ID, customers.name, orders.product. This selects specific columns from both the table, the customer's ID and name from customer table and the product from orders table. The from customer query sets customer as the left table, left join orders, this joins the order table as the right table but includes all the row from customers even if there are no matching records exist in orders. On customers dot customer ID equals to orders dot customer ID. This defines the joining condition matching row based on customer ID. Now I want you guys to pause this video and tell me the answer in the comment as you know what a left join returns. Now moving to the output part which you can see on the screen right now. So why particularly this output? So Sachiv ji has two orders. So he appears twice with two different products. Pradhan ji has one order and Rinki has no order. So the product column is null. But her row is still included. And if you have already understand left join, then the right join is super easy. It's just the mirror image. A left join returns all the row from left table and the match records from the right table. But a right join on the other hand does the opposite. It returns all the rows from the right table and the match row from the left table. So if you just switch the position of the labels, left and right join will give you similar results just from different directions. So what a right join is? A right join returns all the rows from the right table, only matching records from the left table. If there is no match in the left table, the result shows null for columns from the left table. So why is right join important? You use a right join when your main focus is in the right table and you still want to include all of its data even if the left table has no related records. Example showing all the orders even if some customer information is missing. Listing all employees assigned to project even if the project isn't linked to any employee data. Let's see the example tables. Suppose we have a customer table as our left table which contains customer ID and name. And then we have orders table as our right table which contains order ID, customer ID and product. This is the query we are using here. Select customers.customer ID customers.name orders.product then we are selecting it from customers table right join orders on customers.customer ID which is equals to orders.customer ID now what this query is saying customer is the left table order is the right table we are telling SQL show all the records from orders and match data from customers if available. If there is an order whose customer ID doesn't exist in customer table, it still appears but with null for customer info. Now this is the output table which is showing on the screen. Order 101 and 102 belongs to Sachiv ji. So they are matched. Order 103 has customer ID equals to 3 but no such customer exists so we get null for the customer ID and name. So moving ahead with full outer join. Now let us understand this it in a bit interesting manner. The story of two kingdoms. So once upon a time there were two kingdoms, kingdom A and kingdom B. Both were allies but maintain their own list of soldiers. Kingdom A has kept of soldier who train in sword fighting. Kingdom B kept recall of soldier who train in archery. Some soldiers appear in both the record who were multi-talented while others were only in one. One day the king decided to combine their records ensuring no soldier is left out. This grand merge of data was done using the magic spell of full outer join. This spell combined all the records from both the kingdom whether the soldier is in one list or both. Let us say we have two tables. Sword fighters, kingdom A which contains soldier ID and name. 
and table 2 arches kingdom v which also contain the same field soldier id and beam now we want to find out all the soldiers whether they are trained in sword fighting archery or both so select colis bracket s dot soldier id comma a dot soldier id as soldier id s dot name as sword fighter comma a dot name as archer from sword fighters s full outer join archer a on s dot soldier id equals to a dot soldier id now what this query is doing this query is using a full outer join to combine data from two tables sword fighters and archers it ensures that all soldiers appear in the result whether they are only sword fighters only archers or both the colleagues bracket s dot soldier id comma a dot soldier id picks the non null soldier id from either table to display as a unified id now this colleagues looks a bit difficult concept to understand now think of it like a backup plan it checks value from left to right and picks the first one that's not null in this query means if soldier exists in the sword fighter table use that id but it is null which means the soldier is only in arches then use the id from archers table it selects a name from both the table labeling them as sword fighter and archer if a soldier is only in one table the other side's name will appear as null this query is useful for getting a full view of all the soldiers and their fighting roles even if they belong to only one group now you can see the output table on the screen soldiers like lancelot galahad appeared in both kingdom while arthur only trained in sword fighting only only in sword fighter stable robin only trained in archery only in archers so full outer join made sure no soldier was left behind so moving ahead with self join you work in a company where each employee reports to a manager and all of them are listed in same employees table now you want to find out who reports whom but there's a twist both employees and their managers are stored in same table so how do you match an employees with their manager in the same table and that's where self join comes in so what is a self join a self join is when a table is joined with itself we use it when we want to compare rows within same table like finding relationship between rows matching a row to another row in the same data set suppose we have employees table which contains employee id employee name and manager id here john is the top boss and he has no manager alice and bob report to john charlie and david report to alice so what our self join query says select e dot imprim as employee m dot m name as manager from employees e join employees m on e manager id equals to m dot m id now let's see the query from employee e we are using employees table and calling it e short for employee join employees m we are joining the same employee table again but now we are calling it at m which is short for manager on e dot manager id equals to m dot m id here's a matching condition and employee manager id should match the manager's employee id select e dot m name as employee m dot m name as manager we display two column the employee names and the manager name this is the output table which you will see on the screen right now so the result in simple words says i am joining the table to itself so i can say hey find me name of the manager for each employee even though they are all in the same table now moving ahead with natural join it's like a shortcut for inner join when the columns to join on have the same name a natural join is like saying join these two table by automatically matching all the records that have same name you don't have to tell sql which columns to join on it just find the matching columns name and uses them for example imagine two tables students with column id and name scores table with column id and score if you use a natural join on these table it will automatically join them using the id column because it's common column in both the tables so you get a combined table with id name and score but only for students whose id appears in both the table so now i hope you guys are cleared with type of join now let's quickly see the interview questions around the joins so this is all for this video i hope you guys are clear with the types of join thank you for watching see you in the next video